Get ready to explore the top Souls-like games on PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium. Kicking off the list, we have Vampire, a game set in 1918 London where you play as a doctor turned vampire and you are free to decide whether you will drink human blood or not. Vampire's combat is reminiscent of Dark Souls, although it isn't quite as precise or fine-tuned as from software's combat system. Players must carefully manage their blood supply while fighting off various enemies. Incorporating melee and ranged weapons along with vampire-themed abilities, Vampire's gameplay has flashes of brilliance and is a respectable first attempt by the developer. However, the game's setting is its true calling card since Don't Nod did a fantastic job bringing to life the streets of London. Vampire features an immersive story with well-written characters and multiple endings depending on the player's choices, making it a worthy game. Moving on to Darksiders 3, a 3D Metroidvania game that pits the Horseman Fury against the Seven Deadly Sins. Fury is a lethal and versatile warrior, armed with a solid selection of weapons, enhancements, and elemental forms. The game's combat system is fast-paced and challenging, requiring players to dodge and parry attacks while unleashing devastating combos. Although it's somewhat methodical, the combat system is not very similar to Dark Souls. However, the world's layout, enemy placement, and progression system are similar to Dark Souls. Darksiders 3 is a significant departure from the previous two entries in the series and consequently, the most polarizing. Nevertheless, it is considered a great Souls-like title. Next, we have Code Vein, a game endearingly described as an anime version of Dark Souls. Unlike From Software's typical output, Code Vein doesn't hide its story behind item descriptions. The game's world is overburdened by monsters and a miasma that causes people known as revenants to lose themselves if they aren't careful. While the story isn't particularly noteworthy, Code Vein does a decent job of replicating the Souls-like formula and adds a few fresh ideas that help set it apart from other games in the genre. Although the combat can be a bit clunky at times, it's more than serviceable, and the game's versatile class system steadily expands the player's options as they unlock new blood codes. Additionally, the game features a deep character customization system and challenging boss battles that will test your skills to the limit. Number 12, Mortal Shell, developed by Cold Symmetry. This game wears its Souls-like influences on its sleeve, although the game does introduce a couple of fresh ideas. As tends to be the case with this subgenre, the core gameplay loop revolves around exploring a dark fantasy world filled with enemies that pack a punch and respawn whenever the player dies. While a bit more linear than most From Software's projects, Mortal Shell's level design is cut from the same cloth. Even though the combat system is relatively typical for these sorts of games, Cold Symmetry shakes things up in two major ways. For one, Mortal Shell incorporates different shells that correspond with classes and players can swap between them at specific locations. These shells serve as replacements for traditional loot. Another unique concept is that players can harden their shells to block incoming attacks, a mechanic they will need to master if they want to overcome the campaign's reasonably challenging bosses. In addition to its unique mechanics, Mortal Shell's world is also filled with hidden secrets and lore, making it an immersive experience for players who enjoy exploration and challenge. Number 11. Talkidin 2. Both PlayStation 4 Talkidin games are available on PS Plus, but there is not that much reason to play the original when the sequel is just a click away. Sharing similarities with Monster Hunter, Talkidin 2 is all about slaying massive demons, like Capcom's license, and to some extent, Dark Souls, Talkidin 2's combat changes considerably depending on the player's chosen weapon. With 11 types available, the gameplay comes with a considerable amount of depth courtesy of its diverse options of playstyles. Talkidin 2 gives players access to a large open world consisting of seven areas, and a big part of the experience involves exploring these unique zones in search of demons. The game offers a sense of discovery that is not far removed from the Souls franchise. Let's move to number 10. Both of the Surge games are available on PS Plus Premium and Extra, providing players with over 50 hours of Souls-like gameplay. While the first entry has its strengths, the sequel improves almost every aspect of its predecessor. 
The combat is satisfyingly smooth, and players have the option to target specific limbs of enemies. The game offers a variety of weapons to explore and upgrade, and players will always be searching for scraps and parts. The Surge 2 shows off a lot more of this universe's dystopian setting, fleshing out the world's backstory through its environmental storytelling. This game is an excellent choice for anyone looking for a sci-fi take on the Dark Souls formula, and it executes it brilliantly. Number 9. Ashen Despite having a completely different aesthetic, Ashen screams souls-like out of every fiber of its being. The combat system is nearly identical to From Software's Dark Souls, including a focus on melee weapons and enemy attack patterns. While more colorful than Lordran or Dranglake, Ashen's world is also drenched in melancholy and sadness. That said, this universe is quite inviting for this style of game, and it encourages players to explore rather than dares them to see if they can survive. Ashen's progression system is built around its armor and weapons, which is a nice twist from the typical Souls formula. At first glance, Ashen might seem a bit too similar to its inspiration, but the game's voice grows gradually clearer as the campaign progresses. Next, we have Blasphemous, a 2D Metroidvania that undeniably uses From Software's property as inspiration. This indie game envisions a grim kingdom filled with decrepit NPCs, haunting architecture, and religious iconography. It is not quite as desolate of a world as the regions found in the Dark Souls franchise, but it is certainly heading in that direction. Players must traverse the entire kingdom to complete the three humiliations, which naturally come with epic boss fights. Once completed, this opens the way to face Escrobar, this land's holiness. Blasphemous hard-hitting combat is relatively straightforward, and it is enhanced by fantastic animation that makes even the more basic of moves feel special. This game primarily consists of combat, but it is satisfying nonetheless. Number 7. Absolver Absolver is a game that centers around martial arts, featuring a number of intriguing ideas that are executed quite well. The game takes place in a barren, yet stunning world where players venture from one area to the next in search of other users or NPCs to duel. These encounters largely consist of challenging boss fights, but the objective of these fights is not just to defeat the opponent. In Absolver, new skills are acquired through experience. When the player dodges or blocks a specific attack multiple times, they learn the move. Once an attack is acquired, players can add it to their combat deck, permitting them to create devastating combos that suit their preferred playstyle. However, Absolver can feel somewhat fleeting, and a significant portion of the campaign involves repeatedly fighting the same opponents to learn their attack patterns. Although this can become frustrating, the robust combat system justifies the repetition. If you are enjoying this video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Moving on to number 6, Hollow Knight was one of the most popular indie games of the 2010s and time has not dulled any of the project's shine. This 2D Metroidvania is set in Hallownest, a deceptively massive underground kingdom that is filled with beauty and nightmares. Cast as the knight, players must traverse this strange world, battling enemies and defeating bosses along the way. Similar to Dark Souls, Hollow Knight does not provide extensive guidance to the player. Instead, the game encourages exploration and backtracking, filling its world with lore drops and NPCs who offer side quests. Hollow Knight is not only one of the best Souls-like games on PS Plus, but also one of the finest titles on the service. Number 5. Neo Team Ninja's Neo takes the Dark Souls formula and adds numerous mechanics to it. With three stances, a variety of weapon types, and an expansive world filled with secrets, Neo's similarities to From Software's franchise are immediately apparent, but the game manages to differentiate itself quite well. The Japanese setting provides a refreshing change of pace, particularly since it draws inspiration from the Sengoku period. The combat is fast-paced and brutal, reflecting Team Ninja's experience with franchises like Ninja Gaiden. Neo's campaign is divided into smaller maps instead of one large interconnected world, but each area features shortcuts and numerous secrets. Furthermore, Souls players who enjoy collecting loot will appreciate that Neo is generous with its rewards. In fact, it might even give away too many drops. Next, we have Dead Cells. 
Dead Cells is a 2D Metroidvania game with roguelite elements where death sends players back to the beginning. As the prisoner, players must explore a perilous island to slay its king, a quest that involves defeating many bosses. During each playthrough, the prisoner discovers new weapons, items, and upgrades, but most are lost upon death except for a select few. Thanks to its procedurally generated levels, Dead Cells always presents something new, ensuring that no two runs are identical. This approach enhances the game's replayability and lifespan while keeping players on edge as they navigate the challenging world. The combat system is fast-paced and addictive. Number 3. Demon's Souls PS Plus Premium and extra subscribers with a PS5 can dive into the 2020 Demon's Souls remake, but PS4 owners are not left behind. As part of PS Plus' classic catalog, From Software's Demon's Souls laid the groundwork for Dark Souls, and some even argue that the 2009 game is superior to its spiritual successor. Despite some antiquated aspects, Demon's Souls' fantastic level design, incredible boss fights, and limited yet rewarding combat compensate for the game's obscure mechanics and rough edges. While the fact that PS Plus Premium only allows subscribers to stream the original version of Demon's Souls puts it behind the remake, it remains a landmark release. And for number two, we have Bloodborne. It's rare to find a game where every aspect syncs up perfectly to create a singular masterpiece. From Software's Bloodborne is undoubtedly one of those games. Set in the nightmare-inducing city of Yarnum, this PS4 exclusive is a gothic masterpiece that excels in its atmosphere, environmental design, music, and gameplay. With a far more aggressive battle system than the Souls games, Bloodborne provides no restful moments, Every instance is spent on edge as new terrifying beasts lurk around every corner, waiting to brutally demolish the hunter. It's a glorious experience. Hopefully, Bloodborne 2 will one day become a reality. And finally, at number 1, we have Demon's Souls Remake. While Dark Souls and Elden Ring may have popularized the Souls-like subgenre, it was Demon's Souls that laid the foundation. Bluepoint's PS5 remake revitalizes this game-changing classic for a modern audience, significantly improving the visuals and combat while preserving what made the original version so memorable. In addition to the updated graphics, the 2020 Demon's Souls incorporates many minor tweaks and quality-of-life improvements that address some of the PS3 version's shortcomings. In our opinion, this remake is the best Souls-like game on PS Plus. Thank you for staying with us while we went through our list of the best 15 Souls-like games on PS Plus. We hope you have discovered some new titles that you would like to add to your gaming queue. If you would like to watch more amazing PlayStation Plus videos, please do not forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons so that you do not miss out on our future content. Until next time, happy gaming!